Welcome one and welcome all to the Let's Play that I promised you guys that would start when the year 2015 hit. Welcome to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Oh, almost a year in the making, my friends. Now, this is not a joke. I repeat, not a joke. Last time I started this up, uh, I kind of did an April Fool's thing, and it, uh, well wasn't for reals other than the fact that I did actually start up the game like I am right now um, I already read this I'm not reading it again but needless to say we're gonna finally continue our journey along the big boss's story I'm kind of excited for this although I gotta say I'm a little Metal Gear uh, a little Metal Gear rusty since I haven't been playing any Metal Gear well I did play Metal Gear Rising back in August for those of you who may have missed it and a lot of you've been just waiting for me to continue the Metal Gear Solid series and a lot of you were worried that I wasn't going to play it before Metal Gear Solid 5 comes out, but last time I checked, there's still no Metal Gear Solid 5 release date, so as long as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be just fine. Even if the game happens to come out while I'm still doing the Let's Play, I never said it, that Metal Gear Solid 5 was going to be a day when Let's Play, and yes, I know I got to still do Ground Zeroes, don't even, you don't even have to remind me. But anyways... Let's get this shit cracking, guys. I'm I'm kind of excited to see where this one goes. I, I like I said, I'm I'm kind of Metal Gear rusty, but I'm kind of glad because that way I'm I don't feel like I've been doing too much Metal Gear lately, and I need to like catch up, or not catch up, but like keep up with the story, every little detail. Since I've taken such a break, I'm I'm gonna have to try to recall on what I remember from the past. Now, one thing I do remember in the comments of the April Fool video that I posted. If I wait here at this screen, there will be a intro video that I criticize the game for not having. So let's wait a few seconds here and see if that's actually the case. If it doesn't pop up in about 10 more seconds, we will give up on that and move on with our lives. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD Edition, man. I, oh man. I think the other thing I need to bring up, and I did bring this up in the April Fool's video as well. Um, this game is able to be played in co-op. I will not be playing it in co-op. Peace amongst men living alongside one another is not a natural, natural state. On the contrary, the natural state of man is that of war, or manifested only by the hell of a time. Fuck you too. I didn't want to read that anyways. Point is, this game can be played in co-op. Wait, what the? That wasn't an intro. That was it? Seriously? You lie? Oh, that's not an intro. Oh, wait. Never mind. There it is. You're trying to trick me. Snake is David Hayter, as usual. The OG Snake. He's not Solid Snake. I don't even know if I want to know who these people are yet. I, I guess seeing their faces and knowing their voice actors matters. I don't know. We're going to learn who all these people are during the story anyways. Alright, well I watch this because this isn't going to have story. This is just going to be like my teaser trailer. Uh, like I keep trying to spit out. This game is able to be played in co-op. I've had offers for per people to play this game co-op with me. Pretty much everybody who offered though has already played this game and that kind of takes away from the fact that this is supposed to be a blind let's play. Unless you're also going into this one blind like I am and have already played all the other Metal Gear games like I have, it wouldn't quite be fair to my viewers to be playing with someone who already knows what to do. Even if you would like let me take the lead and do everything first and try to you know work everything out, that's nice, but I feel like it's not authentic enough, if that's you know fair to say. Anyway, that, that that intro video was okay. It was nice to know, I guess, the voice actor's name. Gave us a little bit of a taste, but it didn't really give us much. But anyway, so that's why there's no co-op on this Let's Play. I figured, just let the Funky G take center stage and let, it do, let him do his thing. So, in the April Fool's video that I posted before, I actually already created a name, which is just Funky G, and I believe I set my control type to Metal Gear Solid 4. So if I load up my game... It should start me from the very beginning, because I never even watched the opening cutscene. All I did was start the game up. I see, 0, 0, 0 playtime. That means I created a save, but I never actually started it. So, the game is ready to go. Let's get it cracking. I'm excited for this. Let's, let's see what this game has in store for me. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Show me you the shit. The year is 1964. The world is firmly in the grip of the Cold War, divided into East and West. One of America's heroes 
had affected to the Soviet Union. Who could this hero be? She was known as the Boss, the mother of the Special Forces and the soldier said to have led the Allies to victory in World War II. However, the American-made miniature nuclear warhead she took with her was used to destroy a Soviet research facility. Facing full-scale nuclear war, the leaders of the world's superpowers held top-secret talks to avert Armageddon. The Soviet Union wanted assurance that this was not the work of Uncle Sam. They wanted America to eliminate one of its most legendary soldiers, the Boss. This is all recounting stuff that happened in Metal Gear Solid 3. Yes, this I know. The person assigned to this mission was her closest apprentice, the soldier known as Snake. Snake made the anguished journey into enemy territory, eventually confronting and killing the boss at a fortress called Grosnigrad, proving America's innocence and avoiding nuclear holocaust. Having saved the world, Snake was hailed a true hero and given the title Big Boss. See, he wasn't officially Big Boss in the original, or in Metal Gear Solid 3, but now he is Big Boss. Following the award ceremony, however, Snake disappeared. All right. We're setting the stage here, guys. We're setting the stage. God, I'm going to be so rusty at this whenever the gameplay kicks in. You have no idea. I didn't even try to do, like, a warm-up on one of the other games. I should have. But I decided, fuck it. If we're going to go blind, we're going straight up blind. We're playing right in. We're jumping right into this. Don't even remember how to play Metal Gear Solid. It'll come back. Hey, I didn't know this was a Hideo Kojima game. Oh shit, Snake's on a motorcycle. Snake's on a motorcycle. Snake's on a motorcycle. Aww, oh, he's not on a motorcycle anymore. Still got that awesome eye patch now, though. Smoke that cigar, baby. Waste away them lungs. Military sans frontiers. Soldiers without orders. November 4th, 1974. Barranquilla, Coast, Colombia. The fudge? What's going on over here? You guys practicing their fucking hand to hand combat, or what's going on right here? The camera's so shaky. Damn you, American movies. Shirt's coming off. David Hater. He's hating. Here he comes. <laughs> oh shit, are we gonna actually have to do something? Wanna go around? Duh, sure. Alright. Fuck it. Um Let's do it. Do I have to Okay. I gotta remember how to play. Holy crap. That's some combo shit for you, ass. Alive, ladies. The boss is gonna join us. Oh, yeah. Show them how it's done, boss. Oh, you don't even know right now, guys. The priority in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking and how fast you can identify your target. Therefore, you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Oh, we're now, really going from scratch order, here. Look in that direction. The game rarely starts Look that. Good. The game Look rarely down. starts that primitive. Good. You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. Oh yeah, Press you don't say. Button if you're ready to move on. Triangle, dir. Okay. Even I remembered that one. Next, we'll check your left and right. Left and right. Which Look one's right. left and which one's right? Good. Look left. Good. You should be familiar <laughs> with the left and right controls now. Oh, should I? Action button if you're ready to move on. Uh, is this okay. really how we're going to start this let's play? Really? Can, change the controls can we get some story in this? Not a control shit. Go with the method that works best for you. I will. Thank Next, you. Next I'll explain how to change stances. Oh, will if you? you? Just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy. You might as well kill yourself now. <laughs> oh, at, well, times, at least it's funny. You will need to get low to avoid detection. You yeah. have three stances. Stand, crouch, and lying down. To change stances, use the crouch You might as well just say, here, here's how to play a Metal Gear Solid, since you haven't played any of the other ones, you, you stupid can idiot. In either stance. Yeah, thanks. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie down. Yes, However, thank you. you cannot move while you are lying down. Oh, God. I'll say that again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? I heard you, soldier. I, 
Am I done? Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the left stick to move around. I just did a little like a whole bunch. Slowly, tilt farther to run. Decide okay. To use based on your situation. My God. Remember that your I'm not gonna lie. This is very running, painful. I never thought I'd have a Metal Gear game do this for do this to me ever. 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 Good. Are we done here? Now we have rolling. Oh rolling God, of course we do. For knocking down enemies in your way. Yeah, I know. I've done it before. It. About four other games worth of times. Small ditches and Five if you count Metal Gear Rising. Damn it. Roll, tap the crouch button while running. You got that? Yeah, tap I got the it. the crouch button while running. Yes. Don't forget it. Shut the fuck up. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Look, I'll dive roll on your ass, bitch. That's it. Yeah, that's right. I will Damn right, that's how to it. attack without gunfire. <sighs> you may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack. This strategy. is like the part that I actually one might need help on, so I'm okay with this part. Know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. Okay. On command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Yes, sir. Go. Sir, yes, douchebaggy, sir. Oh, you're ready. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Fine work, wow, that's boss. so much slower than Next, it is in, metal, in one of the other Metal Gears. That's so much slower. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Stun rod? Anyone on the receiving end of that is guaranteed to be out cold. To use the stun rod, press the aim button. To ready it, then press the attack button. You'll I didn't be glad know we had to know we're rod. using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Okay. Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Sir, no, Go. maybe. Okay. Ready, boss. Better be. Look at the jab this fucking stun gun in your fucking throat, bitch. Impressive, boss. <laughs> Impressive. Now we'll move on to CQC. Okay. Oh, CQC or close quarters combat refers to when engaging an enemy. This is the one thing I actually started getting okay range. at in Metal Gear 4 before I finally beat the game. Way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. What a boring we'll first episode this is going to be. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Oh, will it? Pretend you are learning it for the first time. That's what I'm trying to the do, bro. The first technique is throwing your opponent. Oh, yeah? To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Oh, really? Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Okay. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Okay. Go. Go. I'm ready, boss. You aren't ready. You ain't ready. Wow, it's actually going to give me icons. That's fine, I fine guess. Fine work, boss. <laughs> Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. Okay. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Oh, is it? Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hand. You can choke him out. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. I'm okay Something with this. To keep in mind. Let's begin. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain okay. your opponent on my command. Go. Wake me up when you're I'm done talking. Because seriously. Here we go. Got him. Fine work, boss. Now what? Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. Really? Throw an enemy to the ground. Move the That's joystick the in any direction. The stick when you have them restrained. Yeah, I get it. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. I actually did that when I first Go. walked up to the soldier in I'm the ready, first boss. place. Okay, bootsy ass bullshit motherfucker. Get your ass on the ground. You done? Impressive, boss. Are we done here yet? Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy oh, opponents. Oh, okay. Maybe this might be interesting for once. You can also take once. out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. You know, this, the, the good thing about First, this moment is that, the attack <laughs> near them. Then, is that you guys won't have to explain any of this to me later. And if I'm not using anything, you just have to enemies, remind me to you use it. You can send your captive flying straight into them. Okay, on so command, throw one enemy at the rest of the enemies. Got it. Go. It's the same move. I'm just I'm using on. one enemy to throw at the other one. Not really that big of a deal. Amazing. Fine work, boss. Throw one enemy at the other Again. enemy. It's impressive. Again, Go. bitch. I'm ready, boss. Are you get, are are you sending more enemies after me this time or something? Get show ass on the ground. Fantastic. Fantastico. All right. 
Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? we go. Something Anyone special. Anyone feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Oh, don't yeah. Don't hold back, boss. I'll whoop the ass out of any asshole you got in this bitch. Enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. Yes. To do it, simply press I've the I've played Assassin's again, Creed, let alone Metal Gear Solid enemy. games. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Got go. it. Go. This is totally going to be Assassin's Creed where you just attack one enemy at a time. You just wait for the one that's going to attack you first. Oh, I see. You just press R1 real quick when you're ready to attack Fine the other work, one. Boss. Pretty simple. Again. Again. Go. Triple kill. You ready for you ready for another triple kill, bitches? I don't think y'all ready for this. Well. Boss, press the attack button when the icon appears. I know how to do it, bro. I accidentally knocked down the third guy. Fantastic. Or the second guy with the third guy. Or, some, or stop. first, whatever, you know what That's I mean. Third guy today. with the first guy. Thank you, boss. Some shit like that. Yeah, you're welcome for making me learn how to play the game all over again. But you know what? That's fine. I can I can live with the CQC relearning. But we didn't even do any weapons training, so who knows how that's going to go one day. Now, can we get into something a little more interesting, like what the fuck we're doing here in Colombia? Eh? Or are we going to have the most boring episode ever made for this game? Ever. Then again, I don't know how much better you can make an intro episode to this if this is how the beginning always is. No way, this is Snake? Really? Holy crap, dude. What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. Apparently we have comic book cutscenes. I brought him. Made sure we won't fall. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. We don't win and we don't lose. We just are. Write that one in your fucking notebook, bitch. Nothing more refreshing than a hot yeah. cup of coke. Ah, thank you. Mm. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. Galvez. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's tag? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Silla may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. 
we come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The government's agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No, I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. <laughs> Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Oh really? Interesting. I didn't know that. Nice to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Paz and Kaz. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow, she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. Wait, why are we looking at her in a bikini? She hates war with a passion like I mean, no other. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. My name is Paz. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Da da da! Why is that the ending of the conversation? <laughs> we know who you are. Oh, because they know that he was the. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I got it. Because he's supposed to be like fugitive after the whole thing, all the events that happened in, in Metal Gear Solid 3, and then he ditched everybody and everything. So anyway, this is the prologue, an army without borders. I'm not surprised there. I don't know how, f how far we're going to get into this first whatever we're about to do. We may just stop immediately so we can do this in the next episode. Now that we have our intros and learning how to play out of the way. Um, Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Okay, Keep Miller. Headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Totally. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Totally. Take a to refresh your memory. Use the left stick to move. Yeah. Use the right stick to adjust. Oh my God! Gear. Really? Really? This is happening again? Okay, well. To change your settings, oh use God. the start, the start button, button to open the menu. Yes, thank you for your There's garbage. There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Okay. Select the target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the directional buttons while holding the R2 button to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with the L1 button. Then press the R1 button to fire. Square. How about a little shooting practice? Okay, this is inverted. Try getting a coconut. 
For some reason, the controls for left and right are inverted. I don't like that. That I don't like at all, actually. Where's the controls? I get that it's shooter type, but I don't like that the aim is left and right inverse. Yeah, I want it to be normal. Why the hell is that inverted? That's super weird. All right. All right, that's better. Equipment by pressing the square or circle button while holding the L2 button to check your map. Yes, press okay. Press the start button to open the menu. Got it. All right, so what are we shooting at? I don't even know what we're shooting at. That. The over-the-shoulder view allows you to aim with a high degree of precision. Body part targeting correction will automatically okay. shift your aim. Controls feel much better all of a sudden. Part. This is good. If you want to change the aim settings, take yes, a look. Yes, I already did that. Thank you. Can you stop talking about stupid shit? Where are we going? You can anyway, are we going this way? Avoid lethal shots. Say if you just want to slow the target down. Wait, what is happening here? The Mark 22 oh, this is a hot. Oh, oh, no, no. We're not going that way, I guess. The closer to the head you hit, the more effective it is. Tranquilizer rounds are hard to come by. Oh my God! Don't really? How long is this gonna last? Are you talking yet? You're headed for is past that fence. Fair enough. Grenades should be able to take out that game. Oh, okay. Grenades. Grenades explode. You throw them, snake. Use the L1 button to ready throwing weapons. Once you've ready the weapon, throw with the R1 button. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Hey, look. I figured it out. Yay for me. I remembered how to play. Good. Metal Gear Solid, guys. Don't I feel proud of myself. God, that guy was annoying. All he had to do was tell me about the grenade thing. I didn't give a fuck about the rest of that at all. The only thing I really discovered is I didn't like... The only thing I didn't like was the, the Man, left and right was mixed up. Here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break into the mercenary business for real. Let's do it. Let guess. Let's murk it out. You're doing it for her. For, for, her. for her. You don't worry about why I do this. You worry about why you do this, Mr. Miller. November 4th, 1974. Barranquilla Coast. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore planet. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, guys. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Gah! Damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, cuz. It's time for a little chat with the professor. With la professor. Hola, la professor. Y paz. Como estas? Hmm. Click. Wait, what the hell? He has a mechanical hand with a, a lighter in the thumb? Smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But Ew. smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at the center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Landis 
slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents, bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. Hmm. Interesting America concept. Would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. Huh. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. Okay. Okay. First comes Nicaragua. I like the concept. Toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation. We've begun instigating anti-Samosa sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Samosa for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. Do tell. Do tell. What? That is the million dollar question. Big boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then drive them out of the country. <sighs> You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What it sounds like to me. What about her? That was all just an act. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. Is she a badass? She's, She's a badass. Managed to escape with her life. But her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Oh, it's one of those situations. Got it. They heard something they shouldn't have. Got it. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. <laughs> Cassette tapes are like high tech during that? this time period. A portable stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. <laughs> yep, exactly. Sony. I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. It says Sony on it. What you're about to hear will help that you means understand. it was made in Japan, bro. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. That can't what? be true. The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I... Oz is alive in Costa Rica. As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss.
Don't remind me of that shit. Well, what will it be? Will you take the job? Snake, it's gotta be a trap. It's a trap! You still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Oh, it's gonna burn the tape. No, Wait, it's all I have! Damn. Oh. I thought he, did he punch him? For pause. Oh, I thought he punched him in the face. Okay. For peace, then. I do it for pass. For peace. And yes, even though I haven't said it already, Kaz, I'm pretty sure it's Kaz Miller, which they said, which is the is Master Miller from Metal Gear Solid 1. Yes, it's that Miller. Or at least the one that acted like he the, he's that person that Liquid Snake was there acting they are. like. CIA Mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. Yeah, I'm sure we should get past them undetected. You know how good I am at that. That's the thing I'm best at, Metal Gear Sneaky Solid. In the next episode of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid, we beat this sneaky mission. How do we save it in this game? That's my main concern right now. How the fuck do we save it? How do we save it? How, how, how do we save it? How... Do we go about saving the game? Hmm. Um, I think that's a valid question, guys. How do we save the game? It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. In the next episode, I will complete the sneaky mission. So I'll see you guys then. Peace!